Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video, we will be looking at how to calculate the molecular mass of molecules and compounds. In the atomic structure videos, we learned that every element has a different number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. The number of neutrons and protons in the nucleus of an atom affects the mass of the atom. Remember that the mass of an electron is negligible. On the periodic table, you will find the element symbol of all the elements, along with the atomic number, which gives you the number of protons, and the relative atomic mass. For example, the element symbol of carbon is C. Its atomic number is 6, so an atom of carbon contains 6 protons. But what about the mass? The relative atomic mass, AR, is defined as the average mass of all the naturally occurring isotopes of an element in a scale where carbon-12 has a mass of exactly 12 atomic mass units. In simple terms, the mass of all elements is compared to the mass of the carbon-12 isotope, which is set to be 12. Note that carbon-12 is the most common isotope of carbon, although carbon-13 and carbon-14 also exist. Remember that different isotopes of the same element have different masses. This is why an average is calculated. For more on this, check out the isotopes video. One atomic mass unit, U, is equal to approximately 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of one, 12 times less than that of carbon. One hydrogen atom therefore weighs 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. This is another reminder of how small atoms really are. The relative atomic masses found on the periodic table will not always be whole numbers because an average of the isotope masses is taken. For example, due to the existence of chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 isotopes, the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5 atomic mass units. Note that the relative atomic mass will vary between periodic tables as some are more accurate than others. As we saw in the elements, compounds and mixtures video, elements can combine to form molecules or compounds. The mass of these molecules or compounds can be calculated. To calculate the relative molecular mass, MR, we simply add the relative atomic masses of the constituent elements. For example, a hydrogen molecule, H2, consists of two hydrogen atoms bonded together. We therefore multiply the relative atomic mass of hydrogen by two. The relative molecular mass of a hydrogen molecule is two. Similarly, to calculate the MR of an oxygen molecule, O2, we multiply 16 by two, getting 32. Now let's look at compounds where more than one type of element is involved. Ensure that you are always checking the relative atomic mass on the periodic table and not the atomic number. For carbon dioxide, CO2, we add 12 from the carbon to two times 16 for the two oxygen atoms. The MR is 44. Note that the subscript two only applies to the element directly to the left, oxygen. For more on subscripts, check the previous video on balancing equations. In aluminium oxide, Al2O3, we have two aluminium atoms and three oxygen atoms. The MR is equal to 102. In this last example, we have calcium nitrate, CaNO3-2. Note that whenever you have parentheses, the subscripts of the elements within are multiplied by the subscript outside the parentheses. Therefore, you have two nitrogen atoms and two times three, six oxygen atoms. The MR of calcium nitrate is 164. To consolidate your learning, try to calculate the MR of the molecules and compounds in the description. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.